Your Valentine might still like flowers and chocolate, but maybe you could do better if you tackle a few household chores for your sweetie. Joining us now with the results of a new survey on making marriage work is Annabelle Gerwitz. She is an actress, comedian, and an author of You Say Tomato, I Say Shut Up. I like that title. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Molly. You know, in that book, I write about how hard it is to keep romance going. I mean, I've been married for 16 years. We both work. We have a kid. We have a carpool. We have 70-year-old plumbing. So when I read this survey by Liquid Plumber, it said 20, excuse me, 49 percent of women feel like they're more in the mood after doing their household chores. I was like, what? Is huh? this really possible? And well, I tried it and it really works. And I think that there's a reason why. I think it's like exercise. You know, I'm a big procrastinator with these kind of things. You put it off, I'll do it later, I'll do it afterwards. And it just builds up in your mind and you get very tense. But when you actually check something off your list, like I'm checking off my household chores, I've gotten that done, then you get relaxed. And I think that relaxation leads to romance. So it really sounds silly, but I don't know why I didn't think of it myself. It works. I get that. The thing is, to have romance, you have to have time together. How do you make time as busy as you and your husband are to have time together? Well, I think it's it's a it's a humongous challenge. I mean, that's why that's why you have to be. I mean, thank goodness women are such great multitaskers. So, you know, one of the things that I do, and this is my little secret, is that while I'm doing my cleaning, I am thinking of romantic scenarios for later. And actually, this survey found that a third of women are doing the same thing. So, if you're looking to save some more time, try getting some of your romantic planning time done during your cleaning and then you know you can like have that all done then you move over to the romance part and I do think that I mean this is I have to say this is one of my New Year's resolutions because you know there's that saying if you don't use it you lose it I think that's really true with romance you know we're all so busy you can really forget it and that's why it's not a bad idea to take this opportunity for Valentine's Day and actually this year for Valentine's Day I'm going to take the time to write my husband a love letter. I think it's a really great gift this year. When you think about it, it's low cost. It doesn't take, you know, a lot of time to do, but it just gets us off of like email and texting. And I think it really says a lot. It's very personal. So that's something we can all afford to do. And I think guys really appreciate that. I know my husband does. He saves my letters. That's cute. And I think that's a great idea. You know, getting back to the housework stuff, what do you think is the reason yes. why people feel more romantic after doing household chores? You know, I think it has to do with empowerment. You know, there are more women than men in the workplace today, which is a first in history. Plus, more women are still in charge of taking care of things at home. And I think that when you feel empowered, when you feel like you're on top of things, when you've checked off things on your list, you really do have... I don't know. Like, it, it's like a, a sexiness. It, it's a it's a feeling good about yourself. And I think those things, relaxation, empowerment, those go a long way towards feeling romantic. So get it done, <coughs> ladies. Check things off of your list and have a great Valentine's Day. Well, I think you can relax more definitely if the things on your list are done. And didn't the study also say something about the true. mood striking while you're doing chores? You know, um, I thought I was the only person who did this, but actually, I, my mother would be very happy to hear this. Uh, I don't even want to tell her, but I like cleaning because it gives me time to think, and I get some of my best ideas for writing while I'm cleaning, and also my romantic ideas, and it turns out a lot of other women do too. So if you go to the Liquid Plumber Facebook page, it has lots of really funny stats like that. And Fun it's, surveys. It's cute. I like that you admit to fantasizing while you're cleaning. You kind of sparked a few ideas probably for people who are listening. Yes, I say, ladies, you know, let's be honest about it. It's 2013. We can admit this already. There you go. Nice to talk to you, Annabelle. Happy uh, Valentine's Day to you. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day to you, Molly.